Ear irrigation is a common procedure we perform on patients of all ages in order to clear a cerumen impaction. Let's review the procedure and equipment involved. Preparation is key to allow for a seamless and comfortable ear irrigation. So let's run through what you're gonna need. You'll need a light source, usually an otoscope with its associated tips. Many facilities have these pre-packaged irrigation devices just like this one, where you can spray directly into the patient's ear to irrigate. As a pro tip, they come with these disposable tips and so just make sure that you attach this to the device so that it's ready for the provider. If you don't have one of these devices, we don't at my center, you can create an ear irrigation device using a 10 or 20 cc syringe and an angio catheter. An 18 gauge works really well. For this, you're gonna remove the needle, discard it in the sharps container, and then you're gonna trim the end of the angio catheter to shorten it. You'll also need an irrigation solution. The type of solution really depends on your clinic supplies and protocols and your provider's preference. Some common solutions include tap water, saline, a dilute hydrogen peroxide solution. All of these agents will help loosen and soften the earwax. The key here is that the solution should be warm. If the solution is cold, it may make your patient dizzy. This is a pretty messy procedure, so you're also gonna to wanna to include a kidney basin to collect any liquid that's coming out of the ear. Make sure you have some towels or chuck pads available to cover the patient and wear your appropriate PPE. Now that we're comfortable with all the equipment, let's walk through the procedure. First, you're gonna examine the ear. If the patient has any ear pain, any recent trauma or surgery, or evidence of a perforated eardrum, do not irrigate their ear. If your patient doesn't have any of those contraindications that we just mentioned, go ahead and irrigate. The patient can either be sitting or laying down, whatever is comfortable for them and for you. You're gonna start by gently pulling back and up on the oracle of the ear to straighten out the ear canal. Insert the catheter tip into the ear canal, making sure not to go past the lateral third of the ear, which is about eight millimeters in length. Direct the catheter tip upwards and begin irrigating the ear. You can periodically look into the ear to see the progress you're making and then continue irrigating until you successfully cleared the impaction. Once you're done, make sure to look in the ear canal to ensure that the tympanic membrane is intact. This is Hippo Education.